big final. Rival will be there. Bianca is in the zone. I can see her just before she's coming out. She's really Or will it be revenge? Baldwin will be hoping for the latter. And the fight fans here. Well, they're ready for this one. Big ovation, big moments, and a woman for the big occasion. She, she loves this, she thrives on this. That inspiration from her friends and family being here as well. She's been brought out by. Holly Jones from Quest, so she's getting her moment in the final, bringing out, I'm sure, one of her idols as well. Yeah, but she won't be idle for long. Big gulps of breath there from Walden. She knows the occasion. And she also knows the opponent. Walden takes her seat, flanked by Mike Harvey, her coach. And here she comes, Zheng Shuyin from the Chinese national team. The Olympic champion, she beat Walden in Rio of what is two years ago now, she's put a beating on a few today, didn't have to work too hard in the semi-final, she's going to have to work hard today. She's going to have to find another gear against Bianca in the final, maybe it was because she was against her opponent, a nice high five there to Holly Jones. But can they find the high points? Can they get the scores on the board? The coaching relationship forming nicely. Yeah, it's a new new relationship. Yeah, incredible to see that they're growing. The atmosphere growing. And a referee for the big occasion, Renata Tukvanic from Croatia, a former fighter back in the day. So she knows her way around the mat. But it's down to both fighters now to produce in this one. Consistency, composure. Please, well, it's all in for this one. Zheng Shu Yin. Big occasion. Yeah, the taller ready. of the two. She's ready for this. She's going to start strong. Zheng needs to be ready. Well, you've talked about the form. You've talked about finding your moment at the right time. Walton's had a straightforward progress through here. As the youngsters get their snaps. But who's going to be picture perfect? Well, we know how fast that Walton likes to start, and I'm certain that Sheng Shu Yin is more than aware of it as well. And Bianca standing right where she needs to be, putting that pressure on from the start. Yeah, we can give it the big build up and talk about how good it's been, but not been plain sailing for Walton. Has it managed to get a gold in the Grand Prix for two or three goals now? She's not used to that. She's hungry for success here. What better place to do it? Passionate home crowd. Big final here on day number two and good footwork and movement to start. Yeah, good footwork from Bianca, but Zheng, she's ready. She looks up for it, so we might see an extra gear from her in this final. Yeah, absolutely right. Zheng Xu Yin, we had the chance to watch her fighting in China at the Grand Slam. She loves the big occasion. Big celebrations, big personality, and it's the battle the big fighters here in the heavyweight division. Just about a minute and some change left in the first round. 
nothing to choose between them tactically or technically. Walton has a little look here. Could be a Gamjong game to start. Nice little underhooks nice. almost there from Sheng Xu Yin. Tying your, tying your opponent up. Problem is I'm working in that short this is where Bianca has really developed that part of the game. As you see, developing that part of our game, and Sheng Shu Yin wise to that, keeps the door closed. Now, building up to fever pitch here, Walton, as we've seen previously, not fighting for the crowd, but concentrating. Great block, and a good start here in this first round. Shu Yin uncertain to come forward. Bianca Walton waiting, overreaching perhaps here with that push kick. Has a look at the scoreboard. None on the board, but the most important thing, the clock is ticking. And time and tide waits for no taekwondo fighter. End of the first fact-finding mission complete. We can talk about Walton in a minute. Obviously, that's our home favourite. It's a former teammate and friend, Sheng Shu Yin. Very strong at the start there. Much better from what we've seen in the semi-final. So, but it's good. It's good to see. It's good to have to have that. We you know Bianca was. Bianca's done nothing wrong. She's come into this with a great attitude. She's ready for this. She wants to win. But Jane has stepped up again. She needed to. She needed to because it could have been another easy win for Bianca if she didn't. Absolutely right, and you can see by the look, taking in all of the information. We want to talk about focus, switched on from the start. We saw a, a difficult defeat against Korea. Bogiri with the footwork. Seems that Walden has taken that and putting it into her training. Yeah, you have to learn from it, and Bianca's done that. She wasn't at her best as well at that competition, and you know, we're all human. We can't always, it's hard to stay at the top. You know, to sometimes take those dips makes you come back stronger, and I think Bianca's really done that. Absolutely. Can she use that footwork here at the start? Zheng Xuyin, the imposing Chinese Olympic champion. Good blocking to start from the athlete in red. Walton tries a nice front leg to the body there. Getting close, a change of stance. Will it be a change of fortune in this one? Back leg underneath. Zheng Xuyin enjoying the big occasion. Decent attempt again from Walton. Distance at a premium. And will it be the first game, John? Renata Tavanic says yes. Walton under pressure now. Shen really putting the pressure on Bianca now, as you said, enjoying this, enjoying the crowd, getting that momentum. Slight advantage. Yeah, Gamjong given. There was also a couple of points went up on the board there, looking to Michael Harvey to play the video replay card. They were in the outer reaches of the mat. Well, we're doing a bit of lip reading. Yeah, Renata took Vanitz. Did she say stop? Gave the gam jump. Was the kick after Calio? That's perhaps we're judging based on you know lip reading here. Let's see if we can get a bit of a closer look at it. Tarek Benradi is going to have a look at this here. A hook kick just to the back hook of the body. There. So Mike Harvey, I think, saying that it was outside of the mat, but let's have we've got a very good view of it here. Walden, oh that's the previous game, John. So for our perspective, there's a hook kick to the body from China. A game John given. We're going out the ring. So the hook kick should stand. For me, the hook kick was in was in the ring to the body. She went out the ring, served Gamjung. Really so it stays as it is. Yeah, when, you, when you're a fighter, you can't always exactly see where exactly they were, because you're looking at the body army, you're not going to be looking at where their feet are as well. Nice attempted back kick there from Walton. So the video replay card gone, the opportunity now for Zheng Xu Yin, trying to show her physicality and dominance. Walton still keeping it cool. Keeping it close, doesn't want to grab the leg though. Renata Thurvanic says straight away Walton has to watch the concentration there on the way out from the ref. Zheng Shuyin missed a chance there, 45 in the second. 
they were good patients by Walton. Still only two points in it. Good to see her taking a little breath there, a little step back, refocusing. Unfortunately, low kick there. The video replay card is gone, of course, but Walton needs to fix the shin guard and he needs to just reassess here. I think I think she's doing okay. I think you know it, it is okay to take that take that moment, reassess. Three point gap for Walton is still all to play for. Yeah, and it makes good assessment for Team China. Tries with the back kick round the corner. Crowd liked it. Not enough connection on the body protector. And the Olympic champion showing her quality here. Last 10 seconds and engrossing second round. And we've seen, well, the very best so far. You don't get to be the Olympic champion for no reason. We spoke about Zheng Xu Yin in the previous round. What about Walton now for the next one? An excellent round for Zheng, really looking strong, really looking in control there at the end. But for me, Walton, what she has got is that grit and determination to always go out fighting. She'll never going to give up. So she can team that with some patience, still all to play for. And Bianca has the skill set to use alongside that grit and determination. Well, determination, as you say, etched in the face of Great Britain's Bianca Walden, but similar expression in the Chinese corner. Jing Xu Yin. Well, some people shrink in the big occasion. Both of these fantastic female ambassadors fighting to the finish and adding to this big occasion. Tense times now, final round. Renata Turvanitz calls them in. Wu Jing Yu, the Olympic, a double Olympic champion in the crowd there cheering on her teammate in red and is it going to be the red flag of China raised at the end or will it be a battle for the Brit in blue to get herself onto the top of the podium eyes down look in third round Walton starts quick Zheng Xu Yin responds and the crowd well, they are subdued now back kick round the corner better option the only thing for Walton now is to look for those double point scores on the board Zheng Xu Yin good footwork Gam Jong given, no video replay card to protest, four points. Bianca has that fitness, she's got that grit, that determination. She always puts on the show for the crown and when you're doing that and enjoying it, points can come. as it more ticks and Walton's ambition tries again with the back it does really well to hold her feet there doesn't give away the gam John Zheng Xu Yin she's got the lion's share of the points very good front leg attempt to the head there giving Walton plenty to think about and Walton will have seen three goes at the back kick will it be fourth time lucky looking perhaps for the hook kick underneath there's an option there for Bianca to spin using the right leg Waiting for that back leg, Dom Cheng. And speaking of back legs, Watkins tries to sneak one in there. Good strength from Zheng Xu Yin, the Chinese Olympian. We mentioned the hangover on the way through. It's going to be a big gam jump for the push. The card is gone. The chances are slipping away here. 35 seconds left. And then crossing third round, goes for the back kick. Can she get the points on the board? Oh, so close. But so close doesn't get it done. Zheng Xu Yin. Really strong start from the Chinese fighter. Happy to take the gam run. Walton trying to do a bit of refereeing. Chen Xu Yen says, oh no, my friend, this is mine today. Walton goes again with the back kick. Low, but too much defensive work there. Renata Tavanitz cuts it to 6-3. Walton still in with a shout. Goes for the punch. She works hard on the inside. Will it be another gam jump? Referee lets it roll. Ten seconds left in the third round. Great Britain's Bianca Walton. The Grand Prix final here in Manchester. All to play for, especially when you're surviving. And surviving here, gam jump given. Last five seconds, it's on Walton. Can she find a way through? Well, the Chinese coach is going to play the video replay card. I think he's going to claim here for a gam jump for Bianca for pushing rather than Cheng stepping out the ring. A great time to use that card. Great time to use the card, but also not a bad time for Walton either. She looked as if she was breathing heavily there. She was, she's looking tired, she's trying to claw this back. 
giving everything that she's got good best for her and still five seconds to left you know headshot body shot spin one point one of those options if he scores can make all the difference tense times in the taekwondo arena here in manchester the crowd well you know who they are supporting Sheng shu yen's lost her card has walton lost her chance the olympic champion in red Great Britain's walled in in blue, she fires forward, looks for the push kick, nice response there, back leg underneath, good block from Zheng Shu Yin, the fighter from China finishes with a flourish, Walton has given it absolutely everything, the clock ticks down, and it is gold for Zheng Shu Yin of China, silver for Great Britain's Bianca Walton, she couldn't have given any more, obviously fantastic stuff from Walton, Zheng Shu Yin, the champion in the end there. Brilliant, you know what, for me I didn't expect to come out like she did there you know it was great to see someone as you said having that Olympic hangover to come back you know and have that strength back again looking forward to Tokyo but Bianca again a top form just a quality match by two world-class players top class and top scenes here well throwing the petals to the crowd plenty of love for her Zheng Shu Yin though she will have her hands on the gold medal lovely stuff and great scenes. Zheng Shuyin, the Grand Prix champion here in Manchester, deservedly so, but it takes two to tussle and two to tango. Bianca walked in, put everything into that one. Yeah, just an incredible fight, John, as well, you know, to enjoy Taekwondo, enjoy two world-class players with that, with that rivalry as well. You know, could have gone either way. Bianca started well, but Zheng, she was ready. She was ready for that, and if Bianca would have picked up a few points at the beginning like she liked to do, that could have gone either way. Sheng was ready for that. Yeah, as you see, it's still posing with the fans. Always gives good value, not just on the map, but off it as well. But talk about, as we said, the readiness, or as you said, the readiness of Sheng Shu Yin. They've obviously, they know Bianca Walton well, they study all the fighters, the game plan was perfect. Yeah, she did, she had a perfect game plan against Bianca. But again, Bianca couldn't have done any more, you know. It was just, it's just sometimes it's good to watch a good match, a close match, and it should be. You've got the world champion against the Olympic champion, it should be a close match. Plus indeed. Superb stuff for Zheng Shu Yin, and that completes the action here in the Taekwondo. And of course, as we're moving towards the conclusion, excellent stuff from Walton and indeed from Zheng Shu Yin. And gracious there in her defeat, you know, taking all the pictures with the young athletes out there, all her fans, lots and lots of followers on Instagram. Bianca, so she's got a lot of fans, a lot of followers, so well done to her, when probably all you want to do is sit down and relax and reflect, she's giving back to those, to the crowd that have been supporting her here today. Yeah, as you say, plenty of followers for Walton, but following up around the mat was Zheng Shu Yin, really tough performance, top class stuff from the Chinese fighter in red, and deserving of that gold medal in the end there in a great performance goes away not just with the ranking points the gold and the cash but also renewed confidence the olympic champion back in business